currently 8.30. The cafe is open early, so I've managed to get myself a coffee. Uh, best night's sleep I've had, best campsite so far, this one. Yamp Camp Deer Park, um, near Rothersdean, I think it is. Very, very nice. Um, I'm just gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna pack everything onto the bike and get going. We've got a revised 144 kilometers, and I have got a plan, if need be, to cut off some climbs at the end and not go to Maidstone and go straight to Westmoreland just in case. Um, but we've got some big boys coming out today. We've got Ashdown Forest, we've got the wall, we've got Toys Hill and we've got Yorks Hill, or uh, either 100 climbs or another 100 climbs. So there should be some testing climbs. Then I've got, there's, I think there's five around Maidstone. So I think there's nine in total today. Still ambitious, I know, but uh, I have revised and jumped everything and I think I can make it work, hopefully. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how the legs are once they start pedaling and once I've got everything on the back of the bike. Obviously, I'm still struggling to get kit dry from the thunderstorms the other night. Obviously, wasn't able to hang it out, so I'm still in the same kit. And there I was moaning to Pete a couple of weeks ago about wearing the same socks. But anyway, things that you just get used to. It doesn't bother me at the minute. Uh, I've got a nice bed and an Airbnb in Westmoreland tonight to, uh, to lay my head. So we will get going. I'm gonna punish myself up a few more climbs and uh, try and keep the smell on my face through the pain. If you're still wondering how I'm keeping my bike nice and secure, I've got a hip lock front and rear, and I've got my cafe lock stuck to the fence. And I still need to tell you about the black box, but we'll get to that somewhere quieter. And also a, a little t tip I got from Pete is the tie ends of the, the front bag. You'll stick them over the handlebars and it pulls them away from the gear lever so you've got enough room to change gear. And if you're wondering how I fix this normal handlebar bag, I've got it attached to the straps and then I've got the big bungee around me um, Insta rack, which just keeps it nice and supported on there. Gives me an extra bit of baggage. And if you've been wondering how I've been getting on with the uh, cages, I've got these Versa mounts from Topeak that um, you can snap these off. You just screw them all up. They're, they should be protected in there with a rubber seal to protect the forks. And they've been going great on that side. And they were going great on the other side until yesterday when uh, I hit a bump and it dropped down a bit and I've got couple of little scratches where it dropped down so uh, yeah a bit mixed but I think uh, you could probably get away with that with a bit of inner tube in there which will help tighten up the process and if you cut an old inner tube up and wrap it round it'll also protect the frame so um, I'm learning these things as I go along so that you don't make the same mistake I can always get the Trek resprayed she's my workhorse she does all these uh, adventures for me over all these surfaces you don't ever want to look at the paintwork up close because it's not pretty anymore. Um, it looks good from distance. <laughs> but yeah, there's chips and bangs on it all over the place. But I can get it resprayed. But you will never, ever get these memories back again. Um, there's just so much worth it just for the adventure. And uh, I love this bike. And uh, yeah, I might treat it to a respray one day. Yeah, all the places she's taken me already in such a short space of time. Anyway, I'm all packed up. Let's get on the road. I'm delaying going up that bloody hill. Yeah, I haven't got me watch because I haven't got enough battery pack to charge it. But it is 10 to 9. So we're going to get going. Hopefully, finish today somewhere between 5 and 7 at the Airbnb. Right, so we've got breakfast sorted with the cinnamon danish. And I need to find somewhere to pack these. Get straight after breakfast comes Ashdown Forest, which is 8 kilometres long. So serious tactics. I put the donut as a carrot on the front so I can continually see it as I go up the hills. <laughs> Hopefully power me up. And Hang 
I'll have to check the profile of that climb because there were at least two climbs and two descents before I actually got to the climb, but a beautiful road through the forest. It was very long though. Uh, eight kilometers long from start to finish, but we're gonna go down the wall to come back up the wall now. That was my compromise of how I got round uh, shortening the distance today. So uh, I met a guy at the local bakery who told me uh, he's locally known as Kids Hill and it's quite tough. So yeah, here we go. Is it cheating if I store my bike packing stuff at the top here? Go down, come back with an empty bike. Please tell me Kent is a flat county. Just asking for a friend whose name is Achilles and he's rather grumpy this morning. I do believe I found Toys Hill and uh, not long after this one is York's Hill. So we're back in the climbing and then I've looked it's a little bit flat to the next climb so we should enjoy that I'll try and make some progress we're doing quite well though 40k in I think it's about half 11 so uh, yeah two hours in 20k an hour average that kind of numbers I should be comfortable today Hill was done, just a, just a steepish road that went on quite a bit. We're now on York's Hill, which is uh, quite a challenging road surface. Uh, either these climbs are getting easier or I'm getting stronger because they uh, seem to be coping okay. And I probably should not have said that on uh, the official climb number 17. York's Hill, because there's going to be a sting now, isn't there? <sighs> Let's see. Yeah. He just kept going at 16%. Look. So naive. Wish I did, but little did I know. Yeah. I can't forget goodbye. Yeah, the sound that woke me up. A text at 7 45. Yeah. Saying we were done. If I could laugh now, I would laugh about it. Right, stopped in Tunbridge for my picnic. Uh, my donut. A uh, little bit worse wear on these bumpy Kent roads. The road surface in places are that bad. I'm having to ride practically in the middle of the road to get out of the potholes. 
But yeah, look at this. It looks so inviting this morning. <laughs> it's still going down. It's coming, but I'm I thought I'd quickly check as I was going up a steep hill. I made my way around to the five little official climbs near Maidstone. So, less than 60k to go. And that looks steep. Into the black hole. Lane. It was just steep. It uh, was a little bit tricky through the trees because the road surface wasn't there. But we've now made our way over to the top of Weirton Hill, which is X27, I think. So we just got to descend down this one and come back up. Hello, my heart beats. Hello again. Between the worries we had for land, I will. found a moment of calm it's the uh, start of the crazy hour whenever he's trying to get home which isn't a safe place to be on the roads on a bicycle but we're now uh, we're over at Hollingbourne Hill so there's just this one then we've got two more after that uh, Castle Hill and Boxley Hill if I remember rightly uh, the last one Weirton Hill some beautiful houses on it not too bad a climb let's see what this one has in store I don't know whether you can actually enjoy a climb anyway, but I didn't enjoy Hollingbourne. Long time of day, too much traffic. It was just a steep gradual gradient, nothing special. But we're now on Castle Hill, which is a dead end road. So I've got to go down to go back up and it finishes just up there. I think some hairpins up there. Um, it's 1.8K long, that's all I know. This is the penultimate climb today and then Boxley Hill. And then we can call a wrap on today's adventure. So it's off down there to start the normal fight. feeling that auto pause coming up that bit I hope I've got it uh, otherwise uh, Strava help support please <laughs> don't want to do that again I've been feeling so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight I'm letting it go spend my coin for show I'm gonna be Back amongst the crazy car people who at this time of day just see me as an obstacle or a target that's in the way of them and getting home when the reality is it's the car in front of holding them up, not me.
Just don't feel safe. Nearly at the top. They're just desperately trying to get past and put me in danger here. Right, so admittedly, probably wasn't the smartest time to ride up there. But I've ridden all over this country. In other countries, I've seen people complaining on Twitter about the standard of driving and not giving any space to cyclists. And I've always wondered, what are you doing? Because I don't get any of that. I've experienced more road rage and dangerous driving since I've arrived in Kent this afternoon than I have in my entire cycling life. So say of that what you will about the drivers of Kent. But I had to get off and walk, keep the bike between me and the barrier and the idiots in their cars because they're speeding home on the M20 here, thinking they're Max Verstappen and then trying to take that into the weedy bends and overtake everything at all cost, including human life. Bit dramatic, but they're idiots. I have really enjoyed today, on top of everything. <laughs> Just have a little rant because that was scary. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away? Show us where we are. Hey, Arrive. Well, I've calmed down now, but that was still a mission. Just getting here. Some of the. Yeah, just. I've enjoyed today. It's over. <laughs> I've still got two days to go. Tomorrow is the Queen stage. Uh, I've got most of the big Surrey Hill climbs tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we're going to get ourselves fed, washed, and slept, rested, and do it all again tomorrow. Another 142k. And mainly that is because the camping site tomorrow is so far away from Leith Hill. I couldn't find anywhere anywhere near. So. I've added some kilometres to the next two days, but we're here, we're sorted. It's been a good day, done nine official climbs. Yeah. Just uh, glad to be alive. We'll see you in the next video. It really makes me wonder.